We are going to study Sebstone, Moses, Mudamba, Mudavadi, the father to Wycliffe, Musalia, Mudavadi. He was also known as King of Mululu. Mululu is his home village. He was born in 1923, of course, in Mululu. He was educated up to Harvard University. His qualification was a diploma in education. In 1958, he was made the district education officer in Baringo. In 1958, if you had a diploma in education, you would be made a district education officer equivalent to today's director of education in a county. As we speak now, people who are being trained to be teachers in primary school are going for the same diploma in education. Those days, teachers who taught in primary were P4, P3, P2, and P1. And those who taught in secondary were S1 and S2. So he, 1958, he was the district education officer, Baringo. We had in each province, we had an African elected member of the Legico. That is, Legico is what today we call the National Assembly. There were various members of the Legico, Legislative Council, who were Europeans and we had a few who were Asians. As for Africa, they were seven, each representing a province. Although they used to call themselves African elected, but they were nominated. The member of Lejiko for Rift Valley was a Maasai called Oletomena. He was from Ngong in Kajiado and he used to drink a lot. He used to drink 25 hours a day. So the British government was not, the colonial government was not happy with him and they wanted him replaced. So it was decided that a council of the district education officers in Rift Valley sit down and nominate one person. They, they wanted the district education officers to do that because they wanted somebody educated but they put also a thing there that he should not be Mulevi and if possible, he should be religious. Then, Sebstone Moses Mudamba Mudavadi remembered that he had just promoted a teacher to be the head teacher of Cabernet Intermediate School. And that teacher was Daniel Toroitich 
Arab Moy, a.k.a. Capcoris. You know, with Kalenjins, they have three names, but they have another f silent name. Like the current president is called William Samoy Arab Ruto, but the silent name is Kipchirchir. So, uh, he had just promoted Daniel Torrey teacher Arab Moy to be the head teacher of Cabernet Intermediate School. Then he forwarded the name. Uh, Daniel Arab Moy can be considered to be a brother-in-law to Mudamba Mudavadi. Mudamba Mudavadi, one of the two Mrs. Mudavadis was a Tugen and she came from the general region of where uh, Daniel Torrey teach Arab Moy came. They are not related, they come from the same area, they knew each other from childhood, but they are not related. But since uh, those days, Mutua Primary School, by then Moy was a P3, not even a P2 or a P1. He was a P3, a very, very educated Kenyan especially coming from a Sal region. So, uh, he nominated him to Lejiko. That time, Moi, you know, Africans used to put on short trousers. Moi was told uh, that in Parliament he had to put on long trousers. He turned to his former, immediate former employer and asked Moses, Sebstone Moses Mudamba Mudavadi, if he had a long trouser. Moses Mudavadi did not have the long trouser and they went looking for it. Being the MP for Rift Valley, he had to find a central place where he had to stay. So he went and stayed in what today is known as Moy Flats, which is not very far from Central Police Station. There is also Moy Estate. The two are close to each other and the two belong to the county government of Nakuru. You have heard me saying that Moy was the head teacher of an intermediate school. Those days, three or four schools used to be called primary school. And out of these three or four, one could be called primary and intermediate. So primary school education ended up at standard four, and intermediate went from standard four to standard eight. In standard four, you got a certificate which was called CEE, Common Entry Examination, CEE. And when you joined standard eight, you did CAPE, Kenya African Preliminary Examination. But when Kenya got independence, uh, the, interme the, the, the intermediate and primary joined to be a primary school and they started KPE, Kenya Primary Education, uh, which was later turned to CPE for Standard 7 and later KCPE. Now, we were a place where Moi has moved to, El to Nakuru, where he had a Land Rover and he used to visit all his constituents throughout Rift Valley province. That is when they had this thing called IMO, African elected members of the Legisco. Then uh, Moi Ross, politically, that is a story of another day. We are talking about Mudavadi. And later, you know, Mudavadi's member of parliament was one Otiende. 
I have talked about Otiende, you can go and view his video. But Otiende left parliament uh, when one time somebody called Ngaira died in hospital. Because, uh, it, I discovered the Otiende thing. And uh, because of the Aibu of that time, uh, Otiende lost to somebody called Peter Kibisu. Peter Kibisu was there. And uh, he, he, you know, politicians and cases are there. There is even a picture of Paul Gay fighting Kalinzoya in the presence of a police inspector. So, and we also have a case of uh, Mark Muthaga having slapped his wife. So, politicians having fights was something that was normal. But Chunka usiteleze. So one time Peter Kibisu telezad, na kafungwa, and there was a by-election. And by then Moses Mudavadi contested the then Vihiga seat. The Vihiga, the larger Vihiga today is divided into two. That is Sabatia and Vihiga. He contested and won the elections. Akaendelea uko Benja with his friend and former junior being the vice president. But once Moi became the president, Mudavadi alieko kwa ministries kadha wa kadha and even ended up being the, mini, the secretary general of Khan. The secretary general of Khan was Tomboya. When Tomboya died, uh, the, the seat was taken over by Robert Matano, Robert Matano from Coast, in an acting capacity for a long time. But when he was confirmed, he later handed over it to Moses Mudavadi. Now Moses Mudavadi occupied, before Moses Mudavadi occupied, Brudi Nabuera occupied it for some time. But when Moses Mudavadi wanted it, he took it. Uh, one thing about Moses Mudavadi which was very unique is that uh, if you watch the tape that I've recorded on Joroge Mungai, I told you that he had built a pavilion at his Magana farm ready for delegations that could visit would, vi would visit him when he became the president. As for Mudavadi Sr., he built a pavilion in his Mululu farm where people used to pay, I mean, visit to him. There are those people who used to go to Kabarak to visit the president, and there are those who used to go to Mululu to visit uh, Moses Mudavadi. And none other than Martin Shikuku, who used to complain that being visited by delegations was the preserve of the head of state. Why is it that a person who is not even an, a vice president is receiving such delegation? He was ignored. And that is when Martin Shikuku coined the name uh, King of Mululu. So whenever you could visit him, in his Mululu home, he would say, you would tell him problems that you had, and he would assure you that such thing. In a presidential way, he would assure you that uh, you want a road for, or you want a hospital or whatever, yeah, it will be done. And the government used to do it. It is because he was very close to the president. He died in 1989. He was sick. I think kidney failures or something like that. And he died and his son took over. People complain that his son is the direct opposite of his father. Of course, they look alike. Uh, what I want to say here is that uh, there is a Swahili word, proverb, that says, Moto hauzai moto ila unaza jivu. But then, the other thing I could say is that uh, Mudavadi 
Sebstone, Moses Sebstone, Mdavadi Senior, had always this uh, age mate thing to President Moy. There was also this feeling that he used to be his boss and such and such things. And he did not, you know, from the intelligence, Moy was assured that uh, he had no intention of being more popular than Moy. So Moy allowed him. As for weekly from Saliam Davadi, uh, apart from no two people have the same character, most uh, weekly saw Moy as his step uncle, a relative to his step mother. So you will find that uh, there is that uh, fearness and whatever. There is even a time when Moy children would say to Tasaidia. Mudav, uh, to the idea weekly from Salia Mudavadi kwa hali na mali awe rais. But you see, Moi had already decided that uh, he was going for Uhuru because there was a covenant. There were two covenants, but he felt one was more than the other. Uh, some people blame Mudavadi for sticking with Uhuru to an extent of even being karangwad by a karanga. But then, Mudavadi is what he is, but then there is also these family ties. Sometimes you feel Mudavadi was not, weekly from Salia Mudavadi was not loyal to Uhuru, the candidate, but he was loyal to his uncle Moi. So he would not have wanted, when everybody was running away from Moi, he felt that he should not betray Moi and paid dearly for that.